Israel's Negev Desert, a place where Abraham, Isaac and Jacob walked and where Moses and the children of Israel wandered. Today it makes up 60% of the modern state of Israel and it is still a land of wonders. It was Ben-Gurion's vision to settle and develop the Negev and make the desert bloom. And we are going on a journey to explore whether we can find that spirit of innovation that David Ben-Gurion envisioned in today's desert pioneers. Our first stop is a brand new plantation of jojoba, a crop that produces oil for the cosmetics market and where Israel is a major player. Two years from now, we're gonna be approximately 50 percent of the market. Worldwide? Worldwide. That's huge. Yes, it is. Israel's incredible success in growing jojoba is due to the tight collaboration between the farmers, the local Negev agriculture research and development facilities, and Ben-Gurion University researchers such as Professor Jonathan Efrat. Our next stop is to visit a flourishing Negev agricultural industry where Ben-Gurion researchers have had a real impact. So here I am in the absolute middle of nowhere. And what can we find here? Vineyards in the desert. Professor Aaron Fight is the leading scientist in the biotechnology of growing desert wine grapes. Aaron uses state-of-the-art metabolic profiling to analyze all the compounds in the grape to improve desert wine quality. You have both uh, small uh, wineries and farmers with a uh, small production like 2,000 bottles uh, a year. And you have then the big wineries from the center and the north that are actually growing their grapes here in the desert. The central Arava region comprises 6% of Israel's land. Here, by combining scientific research with creativity and daring, the Arava farmers have succeeded in the harshest of conditions. Mayan and Ariel Kiton farm right next to the Jordanian border, where they are pioneering production of the smallest tomato in the world, the so-called tombari. Wow, that's really small. Look at that. Wow, that really, really is small, isn't it? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try this now. Mmm, we're really sweet. <laughs> They're really good. Ben-Gurion University researchers, in collaboration with the agricultural R&D centers, are an integral part of the success of growing crops such as tomatoes in the desert. Since we are in a research and development center and we are working together with the farmers, we can uh, produce the best quality and the best taste. Negev farmers are a never-ending source of amazement. Wow! Asaf, this is astonishing. You're growing corals in the middle of the desert. I'm uh, farming corals. My market is the, the biomedical uh, companies, um, bone grafting. This product here is uh, for redoing bone grafting after a tooth was pulled out for his uh, dental market. Well, that was unbelievable. Corals in the desert. Who knew? We're heading to our final stop now in the Arava, one of the most successful ornamental fish farms in the world. We grow uh, ornamental fish and uh, we grow uh, freshwater prawns, Malaysian prawns. We have a very interesting collaboration with the uh, Professor uh, Dina Zilberg and also we have an amazing project collaboration with uh, Professor Amir Sagi. In this lab we focus on uh, research related to fish health. We are looking for natural alternatives for uh, chemicals and antibiotics that are used in aquaculture. Professor Amir Sagi and Ran Epstein have a groundbreaking project that uses cutting-edge biotechnology to create millions of male-only prawns that are much larger than female prawns and thus greatly increase yields for export to countries such as China. The Chinese market is the largest in the world and we are talking here uh, about uh, traditional food. Since the animals are all male and non-breeding, we could use them for biocontrol tasks. Professor Sagi's lab is even using the all-male prawns to fight a devastating disease in Africa called Bilhartsia that kills over 200,000 people a year. This disease is transmitted by freshwater snails and our prawns were found to be voracious predators of those freshwater snails. We've come to the end of our journey and I think David Ben-Gurion would have been really proud to see these amazing people farming the Negev, building Israel and together with the research of Ben-Gurion University's brilliant scientists fulfilling his dream by working hand in hand with these desert pioneers. <laughs>